<laughs> uh, we're waiting at the airport. Joe to do a perimeter check, I guess. He's getting old. <laughs> Went that way. We're going to Texas, guys. All right, I'm tired. It's like five in the morning. This is round seven. Seven. And eight. We've only had two flights with all yeah, of us, really? huh? Yeah, normally we don't. Oh, Joe's perimeter check is done. Fail? All right. Let's get on the plane a little bit and sleep. To all the haven't seen it in a couple weeks. It's exciting every time you see it. It looks small. <gasps> That's what she said. Okay, get my reason sunglasses out. We're gonna need these because it's Texas. So we're getting everything set up over here, but. Let's go check out Baby or Big Bliss. Not Baby Bliss. Big Bliss. I miss you. Miss you, miss you. Federico! Okay. How you doing? You too. Also gorgeous. Yeah, I'll refresh and ready. Photo shoot later, maybe, if we're lucky. Ciao. We're here for practice on Thursday. Let's see if it's the same guy. Oh, it's a different guy. Sometimes Texans are funny. Let's see what it's like. <laughs> Morning. Y'all got your hard cards? Sometimes. Yeah, you got one. He got one. He got one. So I'll say you ain't got one. You ain't going in. Right. I got one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, there's another guy that has a lot of character. Maybe he'll be here tomorrow or later today. All right, guys. Haven't practiced yet, but the car is ready. It's starting to get hot, and we're gonna go to a driver's meeting at nine o'clock, and then, woo, right. Driver's meeting at nine, and then we go drive at 10. Ba -ba, look at the Supra. It's so cool when we get reunited and we haven't seen it in like two, three weeks, months, because I forget how cool it is sometimes. The top job of Dirk Stratton. So what they did is change the first, the first had like an outer clip and then a media to an inner. And there was kind of like this um, spot between the outer when you first initiate on the first corner where you go to this outer, basically like an outer touch and go, but it was just like one section that you got to get your back of your car to and then you can immediately dive in. So now they've changed that because it was like an unknown how each driver was going to do it. And then they would do it one way in qualifying and then when it came time to doing it in like comp, they'll kind of change it up to choke you up. Oh, excuse me, to choke you out as the follow driver. So, and like people have been complaining about it for more than just this last year, like a couple of years. Even probably the whole time I've been doing Formula Drift, even when I was a Pro 2 here, we'd get like random comments and complaints about it. So like, now they're gonna try, they probably won't keep it this way, but they're gonna try an outer zone for the whole first corner, but then still maintain it like, outer to the end and then switch it's gonna make it hard to do so let's let's go out there and practice see how they adapt it because what they might do is say okay let's leave the first corner like two-thirds of the way through and still have an inner clip but that will be easier to follow so we'll go out there and try it we're gonna probably have to change gearing a little bit we're gonna have to change our setup a little bit to adapt to this new track and then like always they're gonna change it after first practice because they'll see how we drive and they'll be like that's not working how we thought it would let's do this but that's just kind of how pro drifting is okay uh, that's it for right now driver's meeting first practice about to go down 
So I just walked the track. Looks like it's gonna be a little difficult because there's no reference points and it's just like open. And yeah, there's cones, but they haven't painted the lines yet. So first outer, second outer, third outer, first inner, fourth outer, second inner. So a lot of outers, no touch and goes anymore. I think I like it better, but it's still full throttle upshift coming out of the first outer to the second, right before the second outer to carry like, you know, the close to 100 mile an hour speed, like 89, 95 through here. So I don't know, let's, let's go try this, see how it goes. track an hour early so I can go watch some other drivers real quick just getting all my gear off and then I'm gonna go back out when there's only like half an hour left and do one more lap so I do my my four on four laps on the first practice session it's just I was having some difficulties getting my car lined up on the first outer zone to the second outer like it it's just off by I'm like a little shallow and I want to watch because then visually you watch it then you can replicate it so I'm gonna go do that we're gonna make a little bit of adjustment to our camber um, I did the fourth lap it was better than the other one not perfect though um, everything's solid on the car it's running good so we're just gonna go watch some more driving get it in our head get it in my head what I need to do and uh, probably eat some food because we go back out in like two hours I think
smooth laps. Hold on a second. It's one of those times where you need like three hands. Anyways, it was pretty good at the end. Um, I would have liked to do more following, but it is what it is. So we got a good base um, feeling of how the car should feel and how everything should go for tomorrow. So we get four more laps. Um, fresh after sleeping on it and processing it all night, and which helps a lot. You'll just suddenly do way better the next day after you thought about it and slept on it. So we do that and then we get our two qualifies tomorrow, but the team's pretty happy. We're doing good. Good job, Dan. It's hot in Texas. Now we gotta go see my friend Marcel because they just had a baby and we wanna see. Because I'm Uncle Dan, so that one. I've known Marcel since I was six and he moved to Texas, so. We're not staying for Pro 2, but do good Ola and Trent. Maybe, yeah, uh, and Adam, a couple other people. See you guys. Devon. Yeah. From Trinidad, uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago. You, you guys should come. You guys should come. I would like that. Supra driver right here. He drips the Supra. And you guys will check it out on Instagram. But it got close to that, you know? Okay. Has blue rims. It used to be gray. Now it's wrapped with basically uh, yeah. Achilles. Achilles, yeah. It's like full blonde. Um, but yeah, go check it out. He's another super drifter and he came all the way to watch all of FD and it's cool that I got to meet him for the and first time. I had to, I had to come to that. I was like, oh. yes, I had to come to <laughs> And then when I was like, wait, you're here? No way! <laughs> it's like Instagram makes it so you're like, you know, like not best friends, but you're watching everything this yeah. guy's life's doing. It's like one of your buddies and you never get to even meet him and then all of a sudden he's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming, dude. No problem. Friday morning. About to head to the track. Just getting caught up on Instagram stories of everyone. But we're gonna get there at like 7.30 or something today, 7.45. It's a little bit earlier of a day because Pro 2 has their main comp today. And we have practice and qualifying, so early start. And then we are all feeling good about today. Yesterday went real smooth, so couple practice laps get him in then good um, <laughs> do a good qual lap and then we'll try to do another even better qual lap on number two all right guys good morning Supra happy Supra right now all right I got things to do talk to you guys soon Dan Burkett. Dan Burkett, Rad Industries, Nexon Tire, Toyota Supra. 
Comes into that first outside zone. You can see some hesitation there. Doesn't stay all the way out. Let's see how he handles the power alley. See him lining up for that front clip, just barely glancing, knocking it over. And there's Berkshire. He wants to better it. Let's see if he's uh, changed things out a little bit. Maybe found some extra either gearing or horsepower here as Dan Burkett initiates. Rolling Cole through that first outside zone. Radical Daniel, the next in tires. And Fuego punts the second portion, but he overshoots that front clip. And now into that final outside zone, into the front clip. That 69 on his first run. He does better with an 80, an 8-0. That's an 80 for Dan Burkett. After first qualifying run, wasn't good. Wasn't happy with that run. But then we like kept re-watching, re-watching, re-watching and came up with a plan of what to do. I went out there and did it. We um, we just like stay on throttle the entire course, like mash it compared to any easing off like partial throttle because of whatever the way the car is set up right now, it's not very friendly and I'm fighting it a little bit on this track so we're gonna make a change to that. I just did not want to make that change right before um, qualifying, I mean, like right, you know, in between two qualifying runs, that wouldn't have been the smartest thing to do because then you might go out there and wreck your car or whatever because it wouldn't act how you think it's gonna act. So now we're gonna change toe settings a little bit which will take forward bite out of the car but then we can lower tire pressure to bring that bite back in but then off throttle stuff the car won't do weird unpredictable things with the steering which is what was happening and it's just some of the times the setup is beyond me because I only know so much of what I've learned over the years and I don't have like some you know race car alignment setup technician here that can guide me in the right direction with like the feedback I could give him so it was just me and Joe and Renee and Mark so um, we're gonna try what we think will fix it and then we're gonna call up um, Dave at Reinhardt suspension ask him what he thinks he'll give us feedback and we'll go from there so we got an 80 on our second qualifying run it's not the best but it's better than whatever I got like a 69 on the first one okay so that's the update. We're gonna go to the driver autograph session pretty soon here. The boys are on the car. They're gonna fix it, get it ready. Uh, talk to you guys after the autograph session. Okay, so Devin's an artist as well as a Supra drift driver and enthusiast. And he also really likes dogs. So we're gonna, um, we gotta tease it before. Yeah, sure. check that out. <laughs> Wait, it focus, oh, there we go. Yeah. The lighting, okay, there we go, perfect. So you guys should know who that is. Okay, and now. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's really sweet. <laughs> he's been saying he's gonna do this for a while. <laughs> oh, that's Hold so it. cool. Thank you. That's no problem. That's so thoughtful. It's, it's not done yet. He's gonna finish it all the way and mail it. But <laughs> then you get to, he wanted. I love that. Yeah, did you look at a certain picture? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Someone didn't send the picture I was supposed to send. <laughs> I'm sorry, Devin and the rest of the world. <laughs> well, you got his eyes right, for yeah. sure. When is it finished? When it, well, he has shading left. Yeah, I have a lot of shading. Yeah, I have a lot of shading. I already so. watched this. <laughs> and then I wasn't sure what to do because the picture I used was the one with the truck hair. The what? The oh! Ring. Yeah. <laughs> well, can. Maybe you can send like a bunch of pictures, but just of him looking, and then he'll be able yeah, to finish yeah. it up. Because he that had Turbo's so hair cool. on top. It wasn't supposed to be Trump. It's just supposed to be it funny. Out looking it, like that. Just because, yeah. like, we always sh Turbo sheds, and we're like, oh, he has a wig now, and like put it on, re or we used to, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's really cool. I had He's no cool. Idea. Thanks, buddy. See that big screen? That's yeah, big. That's what she said. <laughs> Okay, so Pro 2 is about to go down. We're going to go watch the Pro 2 Championship. But, hey, don't close that door yet. Oh. But, we, yeah, she's trying to lock up the trailer. <laughs> hey, look, check this out. Doubled up. We are going to go watch Pro 2, see who does the best tonight. And then we'll have stayed up pretty late. 
we don't have to be back here too early tomorrow and then we have comp tomorrow and I drive against Taniguchi tomorrow S15 with a VR38 in it should be a good battle no Mustang AJ Hi. Hi. I like the hat <laughs> I'll take you one barely that sure is a mold. <laughs> I go against Taguchi um, in the yellow S15 with, yeah, I did tell you guys that, I think. Oh, I don't know. Either way, that's, um, practice starts at 12.30, and then we get a little bit of practice, then we'll go into battle. So we made our changes to the suspension, and then we're excited to go try it, see if it's easier to drive this track, and then get it. I'll settle in for our battles later. It's hot already though, we're all sweating. Hey guys, so we got a late start today because the driver's meeting isn't until noon. So uh, we just came out here, got the car all set up, got the pit all set up. Uh, Mark's over there with the truck setting up our hot pit. And uh, Dan is just chilling at the trailer, uh, getting ready, kind of mentally preparing, and he's gonna be going to the driver's meeting in a little bit. It's really hot out already. <laughs> And that's really all that's going on right now, I guess. So we're going to come back out here at 1 o'clock, and that's when Dan's going to start driving. And hopefully uh, everything goes well and we don't have to make any minor or any major adjustments. Uh, so you can just get comfortable and kind of enjoy himself. All right, see you guys later. the stock bushings that were in that rack so that we can put those solid bushings in it and the guys are going to switch out a lower arm that got bent and then switch out the rack while I'm getting this one ready and then I was fixing the tail light because it ripped the, the light out or the electrical plug out of the tail light. Go 
throws it in. Oh, Dan Burkett lunges forward. Way aggressive and pushes Kazuya Taguchi into next week. Dan Burkett out front now with that deficit because of the contact made. Kazuya Taguchi in the chase position. And there goes Burkett initiating. Oh, wow, look at that. Just a ton of smoke coming off the back end of that Supra. Kazuya Taguchi, we saw him get top 16 at the last round of competition. Oh, massive angle from Burkett. Loving that snappy into that outside zone. And he's doing what he needs to do, but I don't think it's enough to offset a contact Ryan. Well, he was definitely trying. All right, overall, Texas is a little bit rough. But, say hi fans. What's up, everyone? <laughs> It's hot out here, but everyone's still showing up and everyone's really nice, so glad we're here. Just wanted better results next year, though. See you guys. Okay, guys, there's things about FD that you never would know unless we film this. So we're going to film this. So this really lovely lady here is at almost every FD round with the exception of... St. Louis, because they're crazy there. <laughs> <laughs> and then she drives a Mustang and I was like, oh, so... And she's like, oh, my husband won't ride with me. And I'm like, wait, why is that? Do you drift it? And then she's like, of course, I try to drift it. <laughs> That's not you exactly. Drift, she was like, wrong with yeah, it. I drift that shit. I, I totally drift that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not as good as him. If, if, but if, I try. If you don't like, drift, you, there's literally something wrong. With something wrong with you if you don't try to drift it. Drifting at least try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll give you guys an update, and she'll probably be in Irwindale. So I will we'll be at Irwindale, yes, for sure. Okay, tell them your name. Carrie Smith. Okay, we'll talk to Carrie next round. Another FD round has come and gone. <sighs> guys, there's a lot of work that goes into FD, so many hours. It's really fun, though, so now i got to fix the car again. Mechanically, it's all good, though. There's Adam LZ being, being a kid. He did good this weekend. Okay, so we're leaving. We gotta drive home. Let's go say hi to our animated Italian friend. Let's see what kind of animations he'll do. What, what will he do for the camera right now? What can I do? Well, to be honest, me and you being very cool because we... Uh, we devastated our quarter panels together. <laughs> um, we showed the people how our uh, rear bash bars are. Yeah. You know, they need to see it. They sometimes. need to see what happens under the car. Yeah. Did you do that for that? I wanted just to check all the gauges of Essa for all the run, but yeah. I stayed too close for him from too long time, and I screwed on the transition. Okay. When me and you are getting in best 16 and keeping the weekend a little bit more busy. Then, uh, I guess we could start in Irwindale and then all the way through next season. Oh! And then, that's a so great he's idea. He's more of a San Pellegrino guy. Do you guys think, if, since I have him here on camera, he'll drink Perrier? It's this cold. Is, oh my god. It's lime. Just because he's my brother? And because it's lime and it's an American Perrier, I have nothing against the French, but you know how you know me and you guys are, and it's you know no point we we fake it. I'll give you the satisfaction. Yes. Entertainment at its best, right here, guys. Hope you enjoyed Texas. Tell Irwin now.